you scout your mature soybean fields or as you're harvesting them, are you noticing plants that snap off at the soil surface? These could be the result of Dectes stem borer. Hi, I'm Dan Emmert. I'm a field agronomist with Pioneer in Southwest Indiana. And today I'd like to talk with you about this relatively new pest that we've been experiencing in Southern Indiana. Adult Dectes stem borers are beetles and they lay their eggs on soybean petioles. And in August, you may notice petioles that are dying. And this is because as those eggs um, burrow into the petiole, that cuts off the nutrient flow, but then those larvae burrow down the petiole into the main stem and they continue to burrow and make their way down to the base of the stem. Once they're down at the base, as the soybeans start to dry, and mature, that larvae will girdle off the interior of the stem and create a burrow for itself to overwinter down here in the crown of the plant. Now what happens is, as that plant dries, that plant becomes very brittle where that internal girdle was created. So a wind or anything else moving through that field could create plants that snap off right at the soil surface. So individually affected plants uh, will have yield loss of 7 to 12 percent if you're able to harvest them and get them into the head. So what can we do about management if we have this pest? So the number one thing you can do is harvest when your fields are first ready. When you're getting down to 13 or 14 percent, go and get those fields. So that Decti stem borer larvae is going to overwinter in this portion of the soybean stem and then next year there will be a beetle that will emerge from the soil. This is why crop rotation and tillage are so important if you're battling a deck tea stem borer problem. Spraying a fungicide and insecticide at R3, the insecticide is not proven to be highly effective against controlling these beetles simply because they emerge over such a long time frame during the summer. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.